Oh, 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 Jesus. I can rotate it sideways. Might need to slow those things down uh, because this is pretty quick. What's going on, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of A Rover Builder. Now, today we are starting from scratch once again because I want to get a good little collection of simple rovers that we can expand upon. So, if you remember in the last episode, we ended off at Challenge 4. This is kind of like a rock crawling competition, or, well, challenge. So with that in mind, I want to build some sort of rock crawler just to see if it can do it. Maybe it can't, maybe it can. I don't even know if I can build a rock crawler, but... I have an idea in my head, hopefully it works out on this. So we're gonna start this off by building some axles here. Let's actually, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go at a 45 degree angle here. This is gonna look weird, but I might be on to something. Now we're going to add a top frame part, which we will also do a 45 degree angle going down this way. And as you can see, there is mirroring in this game. A lot of you guys were asking if there was or not. Yes, there indeed is. I just didn't use them in the last episode because I am great at building games, guys. I, I mean, clearly, look at this thing. Obviously, that was sarcasm, but uh, we're going to see what we can do today. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. this. This is a really good at building game, which is what I like so much about it. All right, so what I want to do right now, just to see, is we're going to put bearings on these, obviously, so they swivel. And then we're going to attach the wheels to that, and then springs to this other frame here. And we'll see if that ground clearance... Oh, what am I doing? I don't, don't want to do wheels just yet. But we'll see if that added ground clearance will help us out quite a bit with this. Why is it... Ooh, that's, uh, that's a little concerning. Okay, so we do that just like that. There we go. So we got bearings on those, so if we do hit go here, it should... Well, it should have flattened out, but you get the idea. These things are totally loose. So now if we add springs to those, it might be a pretty rigid frame. All right, so now the fun part. We add a spring from here to here, and... Oh my god, this looks weird. This is this is definitely not going to be, you know, the most impressive of rock cars. <laughs> but you never know. This might work out. Let's try and... Oh, I'm probably... Not, yeah, I'm not going to be able to put a wheel there because I need to expand this out. So we'll do that like that. We don't want to expand this out too much. I'm hoping the weight of this thing weighs it down a little bit because I don't want it looking like this. I'm assuming the springs are going to have some leeway here. So, oh, oh, or is it? Okay, that's the right way. It's not letting me. It's redded. Why is it? Is it not long enough, maybe? All right, that was indeed my problem. So now we got the wheels on here. I'm basically making a monster truck. That's exactly what I'm doing. Make sure, what? Uh, why did that not work? Okay, can can I have my wheel, please? That would be great. Maybe because I have mirroring on? I have no idea. Uh, I'm hoping. Uh-oh. Well, this is concerning. Okay, it lets me put all the other wheels on. What? Is there something? There's got to be something with it. Yes, I put a pole inside a pole because I mirrored it. So, uh, a little bit of a glitch there. Hopefully, the developer fixes that soon. But yes... Uh, now we should be good to go, and I just totally forgot about steering. Great. All right, well, let's just try this out and see. Ah, oh, not bad. I, I was expecting it to fall even a little bit more. It's still, it feels very rigid. I, I honestly don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, maybe we should build an axle across because it's a little bit wobbly right now. All right, and after quite a bit of trial and error, I think I got something that might somewhat work let's let's be honest here i am not an engineer so this is this is definitely the most complex that i've ever done when it comes to a vehicle building game all right but i do have front and rear steering now so as you can see it does kind of work it's still a little rigid actually i'm gonna go back and oh that's right it's up here return to garage uh, let's add one more bearing for this beam itself, so I, I want to make sure my suspension is really the focus of this build, obviously being a rock crawler. We want the whole frame to be able to bend, so I'm going to make sure that these poles can bend, and we'll throw some wheels on this. Well, we need the, the uh, spring back as well. So we will attach the spring to that bearing, and then likewise all the way around here. And that should be the best spot, I think. I don't know. We'll see how this thing works. This is... I've not tried it at all, so I'm excited to see if this thing can even work. But when we get the wheels on, this should be pretty much ready to go. So we'll throw it out there and see how she does. All right, but before that, let's save this to the rover gallery as well. There we go. We can get rid of rover two. And now we got, hopefully, some sort of weird 
rock crawler. So, ooh, yeah, as you can see, the steering again, it's not going to be great. Ooh, it's very rigid. Why is it so rigid? Um, You know what? Let's just bring it out into the field and see what happens here. I don't think I did the suspension right. All right, here we are. Now, let's see. Okay, okay well, that's a great start. <laughs> this is what happens when I try and design something, guys. All right, so we went back to the drawing board a little bit more, and it's improved. It's definitely better. As you can see, the steering is now working. It's doing a little bit of leaning. The suspension still very, very stiff, so I'm not really sure what I did wrong with the suspension. If some of you who are better out there can let me know, that would be great, but the frame should not be stiff at all. Pretty much every part of it moves, so I'm thinking... Maybe there's a glitch with it, or maybe I'm just awful at building, which which is probably the latter. Anyways, all we gotta do, though, is go down this. Maybe, yeah, there's actually one more. Okay, so easier said than done. As you can see, it is quite a big drop-off, but if we are very careful, maybe... Okay, well, that's a problem. All right, so the big issue I'm seeing with this rock crawler right now is simply the weight. It is a very top-heavy creation, and unfortunately, oh, it just doesn't have the length to deal with drops like this. So, I think we're actually going to go back. Let's uh, go back to restart. Now, we do have this one saved. Let's remember, this is for later use. If we go back to Rover 1, though, it really stood a good chance. So, I want to go back and try this one out again and see if we can maybe approve upon this to see if it can do it. If not, maybe it can even do it now. I have no idea because we only tried once or twice. Uh, as you can see, this one, I mean, I feel like the suspension, even on this, is just so much better. Alright, what if we try from, like, over here? Oh, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect! Okay, so, oh, 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 now I just can't kill myself, that's all, no, no big deal. Easier said than done. Okay, okay, there we go, just gotta slowly turn, gotta remember, this one, it has the worst turning ever, so we're gonna do a little ten-point turn here. There we go. And now we just need to do even a bigger drop. So isn't that great? Uh, at least we're down here, though. I'm actually impressed with this thing. So we can either go... I'm looking... This is looking pretty nice over here. But even better over there. So we're going to go over to the other side. Try and land on that rock so it isn't such a, a big fall down. And then if we do that, uh, it should be pretty easy to get to the ending. So... I'm hoping we can do it this time, guys. Even if it's with the old creation, it's a little bit of a bummer, but I like the idea of just building creations just to have them, because we're going to have to do a lot of different levels here, and it's going to be good to have a different arsenal of uh, different vehicles that you can use. By the way, as we go throughout these challenges, you can see this one, two, three down here. Some of you are asking about that. You can actually spawn multiple creations. So, for example, you might need to make a bridge vehicle later on, things like that. Uh, to actually beat the level with more than one creation. Anyways, I don't know why I'm talking about that right now. Let's do it! And, oh, oh, we did lose a wheel. That's not good. But we still... Oh, no, wheel. Don't do not do this to me, wheel. Okay, there, there we go. We are still good to go here. Now, oh, man, this is going to be hard terrain to go over with one wheel. All right, I think I see my point, though, and I'm going to try full throttle... Oh, man, that, that's what I was worried about happening. So can we just get over this little hump here? Oh, come on. You can do it. Yes. Yes, there we go. It is not. It is literally on its last legs. But holy crap, we did it. Okay, <laughs> let's go away from that mission because I never want to deal with that again. And here we are at a new one. So let's go to the rover gallery. I have no idea what this one is going to throw at us. So we're just going to use the rock crawler for right now just because it didn't get much of a... Oh, well, that, that that's a great start, Rock Crawler. <laughs> Thanks so much for that. Okay, so, yes, this Rock Crawler needs some work. That's for sure. But I don't want to do that work if we don't need to. So let's just be a little bit more nice to it. And... Ooh. Okay, collect all the supply boxes. Wait, collect all supply boxes to the telepad. All right, so this is a collection one. So we got to design something. Oh, you can see there's holes right in the middle of it. That makes me feel like a forklift kind of design is probably going to be our best bet. Now, I'm just going to kind of look around and see what kind of terrain we got to deal with here because we see one box. It doesn't even tell me how many I need. I'm thinking it might just be that one, though. This is our first, you know, kind of look at 
uh, a challenge that isn't just based on rough terrain. So this is kind of cool. I'm a little bit nervous, but I think what we're just going to do, if it's just one, we don't need to do anything crazy. We can just put a pole on this more or less and uh, go and grab it because I don't, I don't see anything else here. There's not many places for me to go. I'm just going to go up here to see if there's... Well, I think this is cut off over here as well. So, yeah, that seems to be pretty much it, that one little block. So we'll go see if we can grab that. All right, so what we need, I kind of have started designing it, is a front kind of forklift, poker, scoop, anything. I basically want to build something that's going to be useful for all these different types of uh, tasks. So what I'm going to do, we're going to bring this out like so. Now, I built these two poles down here. And what I want to basically do is build a scoop in front. So if we hit go here, will these things, yeah, they'll fall down because they are rotating, which is what I wanted, uh, which is perfect. And now we're going to put some axles down here because we want this whole bar rotating. And in front of this axle, basically we can do whatever the heck we want. So we'll go back to steel. And for right now, I think we'll just make this pretty basic. We'll mirror X. And then connect that together like so, so we can actually have a little bit of a poker in the front. We don't need anything too big, but there we go. Yes, that is pretty much it. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot the most important part. We need that piston. So if we put that there like so, I've never done one of these before, but hopefully that's it. All right, I put the piston the wrong way, but now... Oh, 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 yes. I mean, it's not pretty. But holy crap, it's working, guys. <laughs> so, I got my little poker. Let's go see. Oh, God. Again, I totally forgot about that. All right. So, oh, this thing is uh, a little bit tricky to use. But we got a poker on the front. Oh, my God. Really? Again? All right. Let's try that again. This time, I had, to, I had to actually put my steering back on, too. I forgot I took it off. So, it's a good thing we did break there because... I wouldn't have had steering anyways. All right, so where is that evil thing? It's right over here on this mountain. We do got to go slow with this big, heavy beast because I don't want to pop off a wheel. That seems to be a common occurrence with this thing. But, oh, it's feeling so much better now. This is great. And you know what? I freaking, I thought we could get up there. Oh, no, this is not good. All right, can we go over? It doesn't. Oh, why did I not notice this? Okay, it's not a big deal, though. Because I think I might have a way to do it, but that is a little frustrating. So we can definitely grab it over here, though. So what we got to do, uh, because I've maxed out my piston here, I can go down a lot, but I can't go very high. That's because of the way I built it. So if we go back, let's uh, change that. So we want to alter this. So the options here, we have an initialized length of 100%. That means it's maxed out to begin with. If we put this at about... Yeah, let's try 60 just to see what happens here. And now, hopefully, we should be able to go upwards as well. So if we do, yeah, just like that. I mean, oh, I don't... Okay, because the poles are different sizes... Oh, I just locked it up as well. So it is very finicky. But at least it's somewhat working. We might need to fix it a little bit. But I can lift it up. So if we just add some more steel to the front of this, I hope this works. All right, so the other crane wasn't working, so I am turning this rock crawler that really isn't that great of a rock crawler into an actual crane here. So what we're going to do here is have a rotating crane on the top, and we'll see if that will help us out in doing this. What the heck was that? Okay, so ooh, don't, don't break my creation, please. That would really suck. But uh, yeah, basically what I'm doing right now is putting motors in this thing so when we do use it you can actually rotate it as well so if we well it's going to be on the uh, driving keys right now but i can change that later so this is going to rotate that's the that's the frame for the actual crane and we'll see what we can do from there so let's return to the garage uh i guess we could fix that now so let's change that all right so now let's get to the actual crane building part so what we want to do is uh bring this out quite a bit so let's say I want to make sure it's long enough. That should be good just to there. Let me actually see how much room. Okay, so we got lots of room left. Uh, because I, I the issue I had with the other one, having the crane in the front or the lift, is I ran out of space so I couldn't expand out my pole here. So as you can see, that's as far as you can go in this. You cannot expand it any more than that. 
Why did that delete my whole poll? That's a little concerning. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to go out to here for right now, and we can expand on this poll later on. All right, and then we're doing the same thing as last time, just putting a big poker on the front. I'm thinking, I'm hoping that should be long enough. All right, so I don't want to make this thing too heavy because that's just going to bring more issues in. So now we want our axle somewhere like, oh, no, that's not it. Not an axle. We want the piston, and something like that should be good. Did I put it on wrong once again? Uh, no, actually, as you can see... Oh, that looks fantastic, and it's keeping straight, which is nice. So now all we got to do is go back to the garage, because we want to lift this up a little bit as well. So go back to that handy-dandy piston and go to the options, and we'll put it at about... Uh, what did I do last time? Like 60? I think well, 70 should be good, actually. So we'll try that, and now we should be able to raise it up a little bit as well. Is that going to be high enough? I don't know. We'll have to find out. But the good thing about this build now is... Oh, 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 Jesus. I can rotate it sideways. Might need to slow those things down uh, because this is pretty quick. But I can rotate it sideways and keep my craft out of the way. So I'm really excited about this build now. Let's go see if it can actually... do. Oh, okay, once again. All right. I love the shake of this thing now. Look at the size of it. So... Man, I'm hoping this works. It looks... Man, that might be too far away, actually. Even still. Yeah, that is definitely too... F How the heck are you supposed to do this? I assumed that this would be, considering it is one of the biggest creations that you can make, that this would be big enough... Whoa, okay. Big enough to go over there. It doesn't even get close. So the question is, do I build something to kind of bridge myself up there... Or do I go back to the drawing board and figure out something totally different? Gotta say, I really like this thing, though. Glad I made it. Don't know how useful it's gonna be here, though. Oh, crap, we got stuck in there. Okay, so I just wanna go to the other side just to see if it's possible over there. Even if I can hit it off so I can go pick it up from the ground, that wouldn't be so bad either. All right, so this time... Oh, okay, hit the tree a little bit here, but if we can get through here... There we go. We might have enough room if we get really close to this rock. I mean, it looks close, but I don't know. All right, so we're going to raise it. No, I don't think guy. Oh, God, every, every time. I mean, even if I was right by that rock, we still got a couple feet. You can see there is no way I'm getting my reach all the way over to there. So what I think we got to do with this one is do a multiple creations. Unless you guys can think of something, because if I go back, I'll show you guys that I am basically maxed out here. Mind you, I guess I could build a little bit further back, but if I wanted to expand more out to the front, as you can see, I got literally two spaces and that's it. That's not gonna help me here. And there is room over here, but the problem is you can't move the middle heart of your creation. So I can't utilize that backspace unless I built my craft looking very, very weird. So. I think we're gonna end this one here, guys. I know we didn't do it perfectly. I was hoping to get a bunch of challenges done today, but I've already been building for like two or three hours now, as embarrassing as that is, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty much stumped. So hoping you guys can help me. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this little build on this crane thing, because this thing is really fun, and it will definitely help us out in future episodes. So yeah, we'll wrap it up here, guys. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.